Hey guys, Dr. Kahu here, welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be doing another what if, and that is what if Goku had Barnes Immortality Part 9. Now as usual guys, if you guys can please like and subscribe, leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. And not only that, guys, um, I think in New Zealand we got two more weeks of lockdown. So just bear with that a little bit more, just a little bit longer, we all got this. <laughs> but for the rest of the world, take care, okay guys? But yeah. Now without further ado guys, let's get into this next part of the what if, and that is what if Goku had Barnes Immortality Part 9. Now let's begin. Now when I last left off, Broly and Megeta square off against their battle. And for the most part, that's when we're going to take off our arm. Um, for the most part, that's when we're going to start our story. Now let's begin. Broly and Megeta square off against each other. And because Broly is remarkably pretty tall for a Saiyan, uh, Megeta is still giant compared to him, but not he doesn't stand like okay, not like Vegeta Megeta. Broly doesn't underestimate Megeta either. He gets in a position a, a fighting style similar to Goku, just like a Gohan fight like he gets into a Goku fighting style and instantly enters battle. And right right from the get go, Broly realized the moment his and Megeta's fist clashed, he knew this this metal man was strong, really strong. And so their battle was immense. And this is just Broly in the, the base form that is going backwards and forth, backwards and forth. Non-stop, non-stop, no um, letting go from each each side. And Goku, everyone's impressed with the metal man. Even Vegeta is quite impressed with how much Broly has developed. Um, um, getting a new life and living with Goku. And then, um, what's it called? Goku's just smiling, just watching all Broly um, and everything. And Gohan tells Broly, keep going. Um, don't, don't hold back. And so as Broly continues, he's starting to raise his energy and he starts to push Megeta back. But Megeta starts to use his, um, his heat to um, um, fill the room, that's what he was doing the whole time. As he was fighting Broly, he was allowing the steam to steam, go everywhere. But because Vados and Champa put a um, barrier around the stage even more, um, it allowed the heat to build up and Broly can feel this. And as Broly's starting to punch him, he's pushing Megeta back because um, he's starting to power up more. Broly is, he goes straight into his um, um, rifle state, the carry state. And he begins to punch uh, Megeta and pushing him back, but Megeta starts to use his lava. His lava attacks him, um, Broly has to dodge and use his own attacks. And for the most part, there's a lot of backwards and forth where Broly gets pushed back thanks to all the lava they're spewing everywhere. And, so, and what, what also happens too is Megeta's are letting out a lot of steam. And that's, for the most part, blanketing the entire the entire um, barrier, barrier it off sta stage. Barrier is so shitty that um, Champa's trickiness has played on his favor at this point. But Broly is looking more determined now. He rushes in, jumping past all of Megiddo's lava attacks, and he begins to punch Megiddo again, Megiddo pushing him back as well. And they, for the most part, are just going at it again, and Broly powering up even more. And so is Megiddo. Broly's getting really angry. And for the most part, um, so Broly, he has his, his past experience living on planet Vampa with um, his real father Paragus, but when he got wished to be young like Gohan and them, he gained um, a new sense. He had his old life, but a new life with um, Chi Chi, a mother figure at least, and Goku. So Broly is not a, a dimwit, okay? And learning from his, bro his new brother Gohan, Broly's smart here. Yeah, he learns things, but he still has a temper. And so for the most part, the, mo the more he um, fights with Megeta and the more steam that fills the room, Broly's starting to get really angry because his breathing's getting more labored, he's feeling more taxed and pushing back even more. Megeta's laughing and so is Champa. And Broly, as Broly throws a punch, he, he manages to get Megeta to move backwards even more, sliding across the ground. He's getting angry. He's like, Arr! and he begins, he, just uh, before he begins to power up to Super Saiyan, Megeta shoots a, a lava attack where Broly just dodges it. And Broly goes, ah, you stupid damn metal, you stupid damn metal um, robot. You should have um, should have watched that because he almost burnt Bar's ear because he still has Bar. But Chi Chi cleans, cleans up, of course, but he still has that around him. And when he does that, um, the mid, um, Megeta hears that Broly insulted him, instantly hits the ground. And Broly, Broly says, huh? And Chump was like, what the? And Whis, Whis explains that. Oh yes, even though the middle men are very powerful, they're they're prone and weak to um, verbal abuse. And Barris is like, why didn't you tell us that sooner? And he goes, I wanted to see what, what will happen in the fight. Very interesting. And Broly's like, huh? And, and he goes, Broly, kick him off the stage! And that's Barris to Broly and Broly's like, huh? 
runs over, kicks Magetta out the stage. Morgan Magetta's crying. Broly wins, and, and Berius um, gets Whis to remove the barrier. And Broly, for the most part, is feeling really drained from their fight because Magetta equaled him in strength throughout the battle. And so, when it came to fighting Kaba, it was a real interesting battle. Broly knew he was a, a, a Saiyan from Universe seven, um, 6. Vegeta was really chomping at the bit to fight Kaba Ray. And he asks Beerus, Hey Lord Beerus! And he goes, Yes, Vegeta. And he goes, May I ask something? He goes, Can I fight this Saiyan? Can I fight this Saiyan? And Broly looks at Vegeta. And Vegeta goes, Please, Broly. And Broly understands for Vegeta because Vegeta was once the Prince of All Saiyans. And, and Beerus goes, Hmm. What do you think, Champa? And he goes, Well, if Broly leaves, that means he's out too. And, Vegeta, and, Bro and Beerus is like, <laughs> If that's okay with you, Saiyan? Broly's like, Okay, Vegeta. Broly goes, whew, breathes out and jumps out. He, he, he leaves, saying goodbye to um, the Kaba, and Vegeta jumps on the stage. And just like in canon, Vegeta um, teaches Kaba about Saiyan pride and even teaches him Super Saiyan. And Vegeta stomps Kaba. Now, when it comes to. Um, what's it called? His name hits fight with Vegeta. At first, it roughly goes the same as in canon. Where um, hit beat and beats down Vegeta in Super Saiyan God, even Super Saiyan Blue. But then when Vegeta starts to concentrate and increase his power, he starts to realize that hit uh, um, starts to adapt much faster. Vegeta, he um, anticipates um, hits movements point one of a second, just like Go he does exactly what Ken and Goku does. He anticipates um, hits attacks non-stop, uh, non-stop, to the point where hit has to um, increase his um, fight. So pretty much in this what off, when it comes to hit and Vegeta's fight, it goes more towards Goku and Hit's fight. Like in Canon okay, their battle is more towards that. Vegeta's giving his all. Giving his all the same as Goku did with Hit. And Hit has to um, progress his attack to the point where Vegeta gets dropped again. And as Vegeta gets dropped, he gets back up. And he he's, he drops out of Super Saiyan Blue. And Beerus like, damn it. <laughs> Boy, what's I got my trump card, Goku. But Goku goes, don't give up on Vegeta yet, Lord Beerus. Just look, he has that smirk on his face. Beerus looks at Vegeta and goes, <laughs> Okay, Goku. Because, understand, Beerus will listen to Goku, because Goku is just different, okay? And so when it comes to Vegeta, Vegeta gets up, even though he's in base form, hit goes, Even how powerful you have become, saying, I just keep getting stronger, give up now. When Vegeta says, <laughs> Lord Beerus, and he goes, Yes, Vegeta, and he goes, are the rules allowed to change? Can you allow this this being to um, go to kill me? Go for the killing shot, and Bomber shouts out, What the hell are you talking about, Vegeta? And Goku understands what he means. And Beerus is like, huh? And Goku goes, Vegeta wants Hit to fight at his fullest. Well, what does that make? Is that actually a word? He wants Vegeta, um, Hit to fight at his full power. And Beerus is like, one, you're an idiot, Goku. And two, okay, what, about, what do you think? Champa and Champa's like, hey, that's fine with me. They don't come crying to me if Hit kills your man. And he goes, you guys, <laughs> okay then. Hit goes, you sealed your death. Let's go, Saiyan. Vegeta like smiles and he goes, did I now? He starts to erupt with gold energy around him. He goes, you know, the whole time I was just gauging you out, Hit. I saw that you were the power, the powerhouse of universe, of universe six. I can see that now. Vegeta begins to power up more and he goes. I understand. I may not be the powerhouse that, like that idiot over there, but I am. I have my own power and my own abilities. That is right. Vegeta begins to power up anymore and tells him, he goes, <laughs> "Let's see your power against mine." Full. Vegeta powers up straight away, instant, instantly into Super Saiyan Four. Well, sorry, Primal Super Saiyan. And from there, Vegeta stacks Super Saiyan God onto Primal Super Saiyan. And as he stacks, he looks at Hit and Beerus is like. He didn't see that coming at all, not at all. And Goku smiles and goes, ever so impressive there, Vegeta. And Vegeta's like, let's go there, hit. And, and for the most part, the battle continues and hit progresses, but he gets, starts to get beat down by Vegeta. Vegeta's power has just incre increased dramatically. Where hit stun is really, really taking damage from Vegeta. Even though Vegeta was injured from the the first um, skirmish between them, Vegeta was really, really strong. Every time hit throws a punch at Vegeta, Hit keeps hitting his, hurting his hand, keeps hurting 
every time he throws a kick at Vegeta. Like, it has to go serious. He's, u he's using those dimensional attacks and everything. But Vegeta, for the most part, one, his body can take it. He's got a really durable, super duper strong body. And two, Vegeta is just more skilled than he does, and then his count, his cannon counterpart. So as as hits doing his space time punching through the air, sky, ground, everything like that, Vegeta's anticipating easy as, and the disappearing, getting to hit, uses instant transmission, punches hit right in the face, hence hit flying in the Vegeta pairs, and as Vegeta throws a punch, hit them disappears, and Vegeta notices that has not really there, and appears behind him. Vegeta instantly puts his hand on instant transmission and teleports away, and as Vegeta does that. He sees Hit and he's like, incredible, Hit instantly appears right in front of Vegeta and begins to do his time skip attack against Vegeta and for the most part it's actually working. It's getting, he's hitting Vegeta everywhere, disappearing and Vegeta for the most part is getting pushed around. Even though it's not doing as much damage as it would, would do with normal people, it's still doing damage and Vegeta's like, damn it, if he keeps doing this to me, why not run out of energy in two? Ugh, damn, Vegeta's like, Ugh, I don't want Kakarot to finish my fight. Vegeta instantly breaks away, grabs Hit, throws Hit leg away, Hit disappears and appears right in front of him and Vegeta goes, screw it! In his mind he understands that this is dangerous and he could damn well kill himself. But this is the risk he's going to take. Vegeta closes his eyes and begins to power up in his Super Saiyan God, Primal Super Saiyan. <laughs> and as he powers up more, he goes straight into his hair turns blue. His Super Saiyan, the four hair turns blue and Vegeta powers up to Primal Super Saiyan Blue. And as he turns into this form, Goku is really impressed now, so is Beerus. Beerus is really recognizing Vegeta's power. His power is absolutely soaring. Hit just doesn't know what has just happened. Vegeta smiles as he, he revels in this new power. He's like, <laughs> I can't believe that it worked. <laughs> Vegeta's scratching his hands like, Thank you, Hit, for this unique battle. But sadly, Goku dis uh, Vegeta disappeared and Hit hit so hard that it crapped all of its um, ribs and sends him cratering straight through the the ring into the ground and Vegeta goes pity I wasted this power on one punch I should have drawn out the battle huh. no matter hey Lord Beerus since I win can there be an exhibition round and Lord Beerus goes okay and, and, and what's the exhibition round me versus Kakarot and Goku smiles and instantly instantaneous moved to the stage. Whis heals the stage, Beerus is like, huh, how interesting. And Goku goes, well, let's not make it unfair. Hey Whis, can you heal Vegeta? Uh, Whis heals Vegeta. Vegeta stays in the Super Saiyan Blue um, Primal Super Saiyan. What well, well, Primal Super Saiyan Blue? Let's just say that, sorry. And Goku smiles and Vegeta goes, well Kakarot, how powerful have you become now? And Goku goes, always game with you, isn't it, Vegeta? And Goku goes, Vegeta goes, huh, it's not much of a game, idiot. I just want to see if I engage my strength against you. And Goku goes, eh, fair enough. Goku steps open, instantly goes to um, Super Saiyan God. And as Goku goes Super Saiyan God, Vegeta's, Vegeta's eyes widen with shock, absolute shock. So does Beerus, so does Champa. We smiles, and so does Vado smiles. And Goku goes, and what do you think, Vegeta? Vegeta's like, uh, uh, like frozen, frozen in his place. Goku disappears, and he pulls a Vegeta to cover, but Goku to Vegeta. Goku slams his fist right into Vegeta's gut. Vegeta um, instantly drops from Super Saiyan Blue, uh, Blue Primal, my bad, or Primal Super Saiyan Blue. Man, I'm confusing myself. <laughs> Sorry. And Goku instantly drops him. Vegeta blacks out from the punch. Everyone's shocked. Paris is, every, like, Goku's hand is really, really injured. He looks at his hand, but his hand's injured from punching Vegeta. He's like, damn, I don't get used to that. But his, his hand instantly regenerates, but he's always impressed that despite how strong he gets, Vegeta's primal Super Saiyan form is just something different that Goku does not have. He's lucky he has immortality. And Goku thinks about that when it comes to that fighting against that power. And so what happens is, from there, everything like in canon goes down, but what happens is Vegeta gets healed. Hit looks at um, Goku and he's like surprised. Bear, uh, Champa wants to kill all of them, but but like in canon, Zeno comes. When Zeno sees Goku, he's, uh, Goku still does the same thing as canon, and, and Zeno likes Goku, and they still get their wish to um, send Universe 6, a planet Earth of their own. 
and for the most part everyone goes about their business like normal Vegeta is not his pride not destroyed he understands the big gap between him and Goku he, there's no lie about that he just wants to always gauge if he's stronger if he's stronger how long and much of it takes so Vegeta has now more to work on and so the time skip happens now I'm just gonna state there's no um, Zamasu arc because there's no future Trunks arc at all so there's a big skip from there so everyone's training it doesn't nothing changes until it comes to the exhibition art and that's why i'll leave this one off guys if you guys like please like and subscribe and yeah but as always guys this is dr ko saying peace